So should an artist start an LLC? That is a really big question. The quick answer is it just depends. The longer answer is it really just depends. I was a sole proprietor when I started out like this way back when, and then now I'm an LLC where I do a ton of big projects like this. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about both because artists are trying to figure out what they should do. I'm gonna talk about being a sole proprietor, what that is, the pros, the cons, and why an artist would want to stay a sole proprietor. And then I'm gonna talk about being an LLC, what that is, and the pros, the cons, and why an artist should graduate from a sole proprietorship to an LLC. So let's get started. So what is a sole proprietor? So a sole proprietor is anyone that owns an unincorporated business by him or herself. That just means there's no other owners. That one person owns the business. And you are classified as a sole proprietor by default. So that means if one day you wake up and you want to do watercolor paintings or you know, you're doing music and you want to do a concert and you're making money and you want to make that a business, by default, you are a sole proprietor. So that gets into one of the pros of being a sole proprietor. Being a sole proprietor is really easy to do. Basically, you don't really have to even file paperwork and you don't have to register or renew being a sole proprietor with the Secretary of State. You're really just free of a lot of paperwork. So being a sole proprietor is really easy to manage mainly because you are the only one in that business and not only that, all the business income are basically filed on the same tax return as your sort of personal income. You're just filing your 1040, which is your individual tax form. Uh, you're putting your sort of business income on there as well, as well as the Schedule C, which is where you're gonna put your business profits and losses. You'll see a section where you can actually write off things like advertising and travel. So you're able to do some of the same things as you are with a regular LLC. So actually starting and managing a sole proprietorship is really easy easy as an artist. Really, it's just making art and putting it out there. But here are a couple of drawbacks of being a sole proprietor. Being a sole proprietor, you are at risk or you are, are exposed, your assets are exposed if you were to be sued. So that means if someone were to sue you, let's say for artwork or you know music, copyright, infringement, whatever, that means they can come at your personal assets as well. Because you and the business are one and the same, there's really no difference. So they can get you, they can get your house, they can get your car, they can get your assets. They can even come after your dog, not the dog. So a lot of artists that may sort of open themselves up uh, to exposure for risk and liability, you know, this is something to really worry about. Another drawback of being a sole proprietor is that when you're doing your taxes, there's really no flexibility when it comes to trying to save or find some loopholes when it comes to paying taxes. So all artists that classify as a sole proprietor, you are also paying a self-employment tax. So what is a self-employment tax? So self-employment tax is basically social security tax and Medicare tax. Usually when you have a regular job, what comes out of your paycheck is that social security tax and that Medicare tax and you're paying half and that employer is paying half. But now that you are a sole proprietor, you are your business, you now have to pay the employer and the employee part of that tax. And self-employment tax is 15.3%. So let's say you make $100,000 a year, you're basically paying $15,300 in self-employment tax. So that is one thing that's hard to swallow is the idea of having to pay that full amount. So as an artist, if it's just part-time, if you're just having fun with your art form and creating, and you're not in any high-risk sort of activities, a sole proprietor is perfect. Now, let's get to LLC. So if you're an artist looking to you know, do bigger projects, you're working with companies, organizations, institutions, you're looking to have public art, you're looking to have your artwork in public spaces, you're looking to make sure that you can you know, make a good amount of income off of your art, then thinking about getting an LLC is the right thing to do. So what is an LLC? So an LLC stands for Limited Liability Company. And in that name is one of the biggest benefits when it comes to being an LLC, limited liability. So now as an artist, your personal assets are now protected. For example, let's use me. I do a lot of murals. I do a lot of big projects with big pieces of equipment. If something were to happen and someone were to get injured or some of their property were to get damaged and they were to sue me, they can only sue me for what's in the business and not my personal assets. So that means they can't sue me for my dog. 
They can't sue me for my house. They can't sue me for my car. They can only actually sue me for the equity that's in that LLC. There is a caveat. I have to make sure that I keep a lot of the business and my personal assets and financials separate. Because if I mingle them, then it's no different than a sole proprietorship and the courts can say, you know what, they can sue you for personal assets. So as an LLC, I make sure I have my personal bank account and finances and then I have my business bank account and finances. So I have credit cards just for my business. I have accounting software just for my business. I try to make sure they are as separate as can be. Following those rules, you can enjoy the protection that limited liability brings along with doing business. We are in the US, which is so happy people will sue you for anything and everything so you want to make sure that you have protection especially if you're doing high risk activities and when you're sort of doing a ton of contracts you're working with a ton of people you're basically working in the public eye with big projects you want to make sure that you're protected one of the biggest drawbacks when being an LLC is the registration it does take a little bit of paperwork to actually get registered and it does cost money it can cost between $50 or $520, I believe in Massachusetts, uh, to register an LLC. Some states require you to pay a fee to renew it. I believe in Massachusetts is $500 every year you have to renew. Whereas other states, it can be as low as $50. When it comes to taxes, there is a benefit to having an LLC. LLCs are taxed basically almost the same as a sole proprietor. At the end of the year, when you file your 1040, you're including your business uh, activities on that 1040 and you're including it on the Schedule C as well. Where the benefit of being an LLC comes in is that when you have an LLC, you can choose to be taxed as an S Corp. So the LLC that I have has elected to be taxed as an S Corp. So the income that I bring in through my LLC, I can have a salary and a draw. So for example, if I made $100,000 through my LLC, my art business, and I said, you know what? I wanna make sure that 70% of that is my salary. So I'm gonna get hit with Medicare and Social Security tax on that $70,000. The remaining 30% or $30,000, I'm basically not having to pay Social Security or the Medicare tax on that. So that 15% times 30,000 is 4,500. So I'm basically saving $4,500 a year electing to be taxed as an S Corp. But you can see how that makes a big difference. With that comes a lot of responsibility. You have to make sure that you pay yourself a reasonable salary. They wanna make sure that you're not trying to skip out on paying any social security and Medicare taxes. The main thing is you wanna to try to make sure you reduce the amount of taxes because the IRS will take as much as you give it. The drawback of being an LLC for an artist is that there's a lot of paperwork and management. To elect to be taxed as an S Corp, I'm basically having to make sure that I set up a payroll system and do quarterly payroll taxes. That's why I have an accountant and I make sure I pay that accountant to do that every quarter. So that costs money. It costs money to actually maintain the LLC. So having an LLC is a lot more work, it's a lot more paperwork, it's a lot more energy just to make sure you maintain it. But as you grow as an artist and you're doing a lot more jobs and working with a lot more people, especially institutions and brands and you know galleries and museums, you want to make sure that you're protected in the income that you bring in that you can make sure that you protect it and sort of keep it in your bank account because as you know as you start to do more projects and sort of bring it more income through your art there's a lot of holes that are punched in that sort of bucket that you're sort of pouring your income in there's holes being poked in there where income is flowing out and the more you make, the more they take, the more expenses, the more, just everything, fees, subscriptions, all that stuff. So you wanna make sure that you're trying to do the best you can and make sure you plug up those holes. So those are the main sort of differences when it comes to being a sole proprietor and an LLC. So when artists are thinking about going from sole proprietor to an LLC, you have certain benefits but you don't necessarily need to both sole proprietor and llc you can also have an ein number which is an employer identification number 
that is just basically a social security number for your business. You really don't want to be throwing out your social security number all the time, especially when you're getting multiple clients and sort of multiple projects and people are paying you in different ways. You don't want to throw that out there. So the EIN number is basically a social security number for your business that you can use on that W-9. You can have that as a sole proprietor or an LLC. You just have to register with the IRS and make sure you tick that button when it comes to are you a sole proprietor or an LLC. So there's really not a ton of different points that are different when it comes to a uh, sole proprietor and an LLC. There's just a couple of main differences that are huge. So like I said, the limited liability and the ability to reduce your tax. I'll make a video showing you how to go about doing that graduation from a sole proprietor to an LLC. I'll sort of walk you through some of the different websites that you need to go to and some of the accounting software that you may need if you want to be more professional when it comes to the management of your art business. Business. I want to make a disclaimer. Every state is going to be different. So you want to make sure that you review those rules within your state. Like there's different fees when it comes to creating an LLC. There are going to be different sort of sometimes little minute circumstances that are different from state to state. So you want to make sure that you talk to an accountant or a business lawyer and really make sure that you know what you're doing within your state. Even me, I went to business school, but I still have an accountant and people I rely on when it comes to making some of those decisions. So I have an accountant that does my quarterly payroll taxes and sends me uh, the forms that I need to fill out and says, this is how much you need to pay yourself so that you know it looks good to the IRS. This is how much you can take out as a draw. So so, you know, it's, everything's reasonable. So hopefully this helped out with making that decision on what to do in your art practice. Um, but I will make a video, like I said, uh, showing you a little walkthrough on how to graduate from sole proprietor to an LLC. Until then, make sure you visit the YouTube channel and see some of the other videos that I made and look out for that new video that I will have showing you how to do the LLC. And I'll see you next time. Peace.